Oh, uh, here. <laughs> who, ne who needs a train? How's it going, everybody? Sorry, I just had to catch a train there. Um, on tonight's show, we have Shane Gillen. He's a magician to the stars. He's done gigs for the likes of uh, Fraser and Samuel L. Jackson. He's a really nice guy. And we also have The Myth. They're a band. They were in the All-Ireland Talent Show. And they're doing really well, selling out gigs all over Ireland. So join me for The Warehouse. <laughs> Next up, we have Shane Gillen to work his magic on me. Uh, not, not in that type of way. Okay, and here's Shane now. <laughs> How's it going, Shane? Welcome Thanks to the for show. Me again. Uh, again. <laughs> I haven't done this before. Um, what's the story? How did you become a magician, anyway? Uh, well, basically a few years ago, I went to San Francisco with my girlfriend on a J1. Had no money, and the only job going was in a magic shop, and uh, that's it. I pretty much took that job. Cool, that's Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. Oh no, that's the credit kid. Well, no, actually, it was a it was a uh, Japanese Amer or a Chinese American guy who actually taught me. Really? Magic for Joe Pond was Great his name. Stuff. That's the much longer story that I didn't want to tell you before. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> now that we're on take two. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll go with it. There you go. Have you got it? I see a pack of cards there. What's, <laughs> yeah, this is a trick, is it? <laughs> Open them, shuffle them. <laughs> okay, cool. Get them in any magic shop, normal deck cards. <laughs> magic cards. Yeah. Every day he's shuffling. Apparently not. <laughs> no, definitely right. not. So as soon as we're on TV, we'll try, uh, try two cards. Do you remember two? Again. I remember two, yeah. All right, Eric, uh, just take one card as we go through. Okay, like that one there, sure. Yeah, take that, show the cameras. Okay. Good. Okay. okay, I'll show that on the bottom, so that when I cut the deck, it's somewhere in the middle. And uh, will you, you remember too, yeah? Yeah. Do you know any magic words? Yeah, how is your position? Oh, pop, pull up. <laughs> right, take a card. <laughs> That's a magic word. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you remember that one, show the cameras? Right, hold on. Yeah, Grant. I'll try that in. Spell that word. S Z Z Z C. Oh, the show. Right. 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 <laughs> okay, watch. Yeah, you can do it. It's a different accent, but. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a different dialect, I was, I was thinking of. Um, okay, look, I'll try and get your second card first. See if it's around two. Okay. Give this go, look. There you go, have a look. Well, yeah. Three of diamonds, that's what the second one was. That's right, we get the first one. That's amazing. <laughs> it's always the harder part getting it to come back again. That's like you're in leagues with the devil or something, Shane. It's moving. Yeah, he's texting me there this morning. Hang on. There you go. Six, 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 six. There you go, have a look. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Magic. Team clubs. Jeez, that's great. That's something else, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know how we write that. Is, is that a creepy hair? It is a creepy hair. <laughs> We're in a warehouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, that's, that's brilliant. That's best brilliant. place to find a creepy hair. And what's the story? Like, what have you been up to? Like, what's have you been? Uh, basically, just doing loads of magic. Uh, that's that's what I do. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, just uh, I just finished seven nights uh, doing a theater show there. Brilliant. Six nights in um, Players Theater in Trinity. Okay. Uh, with my stage show, The Arrow of Time, which is coming to Sligo on August twentieth, and uh, <laughs> and did Bray Summerfest as well, uh, right before the fireworks there on Monday last week. And do you, then, do you do weddings and stuff and all that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I was actually doing a wedding there on Saturday in Dundalk. And then, uh, yeah, it was a very good crack. And uh, this Friday we're doing a 50th in Carlo. The whole stage show going to this woman's 50th. Yeah, And then uh, <laughs> on Saturday backstage with 50 Cent at Waterford Music Festival. So, uh, 50? Yeah, so Jeez. hope I don't get shot or anything. Just pop a cap in your ass. <laughs> um, any, more, any more tricks pop for us? <laughs> yeah, pop a cap in his ass. <laughs> yeah, well sure, just ask me there that I always want to be a magician. Um, did you always want to be a Funny musician? you should ask me, Eric. Uh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> uh, I actually loved the idea of uh, being a photographer when I was younger, right? And I took a few photos out of National Geographic there. It's probably better for this camera, but anyway. Uh, I took a few photos out of National Geographic last night because my girlfriend got me a subscription to it. Anyway, they're kind of crappy. Last yeah. in China, it's been kind of cool. Okay. Um, basically, a few photos from it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I kind of liked the idea of uh, of being a photographer for a while and, and toyed around with the idea of kind of uh, making making money from from kind of taking pictures, you know. And I loved the idea of like if you could just. 
if you could just take the photos and just kind of make money from it, I thought it would be... It'd be well, really cool, you know? Jesus, uh, but unfortunately, I can't, so I'm just going to stick to being a magician, you know? <laughs> that's great. Oh, yeah. An easy, an easy well, 100 quid. That's, 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 that, was, that was very impressive. Uh, sure, uh, I'll get you to make a drawing, actually. You okay. Like, I gave you a oh, here's pen. a pen. Oh, paper, yeah. it happens to be a pen and a paper. <laughs> uh, do you have a calculator as well on your phone? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah have one here. Grab your phone, or one of your phones, whichever. Okay. And what will I do? You open up your calculator and make yeah. a drawing in your calculator there. Make a drawing. <laughs> That's what I was there going. Mm. Boobless. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that? Um, yeah, yeah. Right. Open up your calculator. Okay, yeah. Okay, look at me for a sec. You're going to give me any two digit number you want, okay? Two digit number. Say yeah. quick. Quick. Yeah, say it. Yeah. 28. 28. Yeah. Random choice? Yeah. Excellent. Stick in 28. Okay. And you're going to add on, don't let me see, don't, you're going to add on the year you were born, all four digits, okay? I okay. could probably make a good guess. I probably know it actually, but uh, add 18, on the year. 1852. 1852, yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. Yeah, uh, I'm 34, so. Okay, but go on anyway, yeah. So Are you actually okay. telling me that? That's great, yeah. That's yeah. perfect. <laughs> okay, so you've added on the year you're born. Yeah. And now, just really quickly, I want you to think of an event that happened in your life, okay? An event that happened in your life. Something kind of happy, not something sad. No funerals. Okay. Uh, kind of Paddy, don't say it out loud. Paddy's Day Parade, mm. something like that. Don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. You have one? Yeah. Okay, add, do, on, yeah. add on the year it happened. All four digits. Okay. Um. Okay. Equals? No. Nope. Uh, we'll come back to that in a second. Okay. And uh, I'm going to get you to make a drawing, okay? Yeah. Something quite, kind of simple, okay? Look at me for a second. Any drawing, something kind of simple. Yeah, you have one? Yeah. Something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Make a drawing in the middle of the page, nice and easy. And write what it is underneath it. This is going to win awards. Okay, so you've got that done? Yeah. All right, I'm going to put this down for a second. And if you just take the calculator up again. Okay. You're going to add on, the, obviously you'll know this because you just told me, you're going to add on the year, the, what age you'll be by the end of this year, say. By the end of the year? Yeah. Or at my next birthday? By the end of the year. Okay. Remember when I just asked you that? Yeah. yeah that's what I meant. <laughs> okay. Just a little tip and interview. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got that? Interview and what? Yeah, okay. Okay, and just one more thing. Just look at me again. Just think of the event. You can think of someone who was at that event with you. Yeah. Imagine their surname, right? Imagine their surname written right there between the two of us. Okay, written right there between the two of us. Keep yeah. saying it over and over in your head, over and over in your head. It was a guy or girl? Girl. Girl. Yeah. Uh, okay, keep saying her surname over and over in your head, over and over in your head. Is there like a like a word within a word or like a double meaning to a surname? You'd understand that better than I would. No, it's just, a, just, just one word. Okay, excellent. Add on how many years ago the event was, actually. Uh, okay. Yeah, equals. Right, on. Plus. Okay. And then with your marker, just write the total you've gotten just above your picture there. Yeah. Okay, and just put it face down. Okay, so chances of both of these being exactly the same. What are they? Slim probably to none? Probably slim to none, yeah. Oh, but I'm a magician. <laughs> All right, so on the count of three, we'll turn them over together, yeah? Yeah. Will we turn them over facing the camera? Yeah, facing this camera then. Okay. okay. One, two, three. 4,050 and a yeah. stone. That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> well, something else. Show us your, show us your phone there. If, uh, yeah, 4,050. Yeah. I'll just take a balloon out of my balloon pocket. Let's see if this works. <laughs> nice colour. I thought you'd like that. There you go. <laughs> That's great. It actually just got a text just there. <laughs> I won't be reading that for a while. Jeez, that's brilliant, Shane. Yeah. But Shane, well, I think, I think that's, that's all we have time for. Sorry, I didn't really ask you much about You have a website. So your website. <laughs> go, to, uh, go to facebook.com forward slash uh, Shane Gillen. And if you have, if you have uh, dates and times of all the stuff that's coming uh, up? I have dates and times of all the stuff that's coming okay, up. Okay, that's great so stuff. Shane Gillen, what did I say? Facebook.com forward slash Shane Gillen Magic. Okay, you great. And you can get all the things on there. Yeah, and YouTube.com forward slash Gillen Magic and Twitter.com forward slash something. They'll all come up along the, yeah. the bottom there or something. So just yeah, Shane Gillen anyway. I'm sure if you type... Shane Gillen. Just Google me, yeah. Them. Just Google me, like. <laughs> Toast for goats. Toast for goats. Okay, Cheers, Shane. Man. Thanks very much for Thanks coming on, man. Take it easy. Right. That was Thanks great. Okay. <laughs> we'll be, uh, I'll just, I don't know. I'm just going to finish that somehow, somewhere else. <laughs>
<laughs> Shane Gillen there. I bet you none of his mates let him play poker with him. No, I wouldn't anyway. Uh, anyway, here's a video from one of our viewers. Uh, no doubt it's going to be creepy as usual. And I'll see you after the break. Peter, can I just ask you a question? Why are you um, holding that teddy bear? Collect money for the children. And why are you doing it? I mean, how old are you? 45. What business is it of yours? It doesn't look right, you know, 45 year old man holding a teddy bear and like dressed up like a little boy collecting money. It's not, did you, did they not have a, like a little 10 year old boy at the agency? Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not a 10 year old kid. I'm a 45 year old bloke and I'm collecting money for kids and it's a good cause. I mean, the, the kids, when they get the money, aren't going to worry that it was collected by me. You know, you should be, I don't know, collecting for life, but RNLI or something. I could see you in a Sar Wester. That yeah. wouldn't look out of place. Yeah, well, I, I, when I came to work, I thought I'd be doing a fish and chip shop, you know, holding a big cod. But this work was available, so I've done it. Are you jealous or something? I don't know what your problem is. Well, if you don't mind me saying, it just doesn't look right. What have you got in your teddy bear? Because it stinks. It's my lunch, it's my kebab. Inside your teddy bear? Yeah, well, it keeps it warm, doesn't it? How long has it been there? So it's been in about two hours now, but I've got to keep perfectly still, I can't eat it yet. Have you got nothing better to do than come and harass me when I'm trying to do something decent for once? At least I could have taken the tash off you. I can't get rid of the tash because I'm, I'm going to clubbing tonight. Where are you going? Go to Satsuma's nightclub. Satsuma's? Yeah. That closed down last yeah. year. No, it's, that, it's gone underground. How much does it cost to get in? It's free if you got a tash. Can you take someone in with you? Yeah, I suppose you could come. Why do you fancy that kind of scene? So maybe I'll see you. I might see you tonight. Meet me outside Satsuma's now. Can you clear off and I'll try and collect some money? If you don't mind, I don't think you'll be getting much money today. Anyway, I'll see you. God, he was an awkward bastard, wasn't he? Still not bad looking. 